Now it's time to put everything together because we've worked with converting grams to moles and we've just worked on doing moles of one thing to moles of something else. Now we actually measure most solids and many things uh, on scales and so we typically will start with grams and in this example we've got how many grams of carbon dioxide right here can be made from 41.1 grams of C3H8, that's propane. And this is going to be a big one, something we're going to do uh, greater than, well, I don't know which way is the greater than in the video here, greater than, greater than, greater than 50 times throughout the rest of the semester. So this is something we want to get down. We'll go over the pathway here. You'll notice you've been given grams of C3H8 and grams of just one thing. And our pathway for this answer is we're going to need to go to moles of C3H8. And to do that, we're going to use the molar mass. of C3H8, that's going to be molar mass of propane. Then we're going to go to moles of something else is what I'll call it, but in this case it's moles of carbon dioxide. And to do that we're going to use the mole to mole ratio based on the coefficients of the balanced reaction. And then over here, I'll make it red because it's going to be another molar mass going to grams of CO2. So this is our pathway. And what I'd like to call this pathway is we start in, I don't know, we have a fourth color here. So G, M, M, G, grams to moles, to moles, to grams. And so this pathway is going to be G, M, M, G. Uh, I've never heard of an acronym or a, a mnemonic device associated with this one. And so what I've done is I've created a discussion board for you to post your favorite um, way of remembering this, we're, we're really coming up with this. I mean, if you think about what we did for Leo Gurr, Leo Gurr, lose electrons oxidation, gain electrons reduction, uh, we're going to do a similar thing here. And you'll see it on the homework. Uh, it'll specifically say GMMG. And what I like to think of is that uh, grandma makes magnificent gravy. That's my uh, mnemonic for this. This is a grandma makes magnificent gravy problem. And, um, but uh, the discussion asks you to come up with your own acronym and we'll discuss and see if we can find one, maybe even memeify it if we get lucky. Back to the problem. Uh, now let's actually solve it. We start with our grams of propane. And this picket fence, as you can see, is going to have one, two, three conversion factors. Our first one's going to be the molar mass of propane, C3H8. That's going to be 3 times 12.01 plus 1.008 times 8. That's for hydrogen over here. I get 44.09. Remember, we do uh, molar masses to four sig figs. Typically, our problems have three sig figs for the numbers in the problem. That way, our molar masses, uh, that's going to be grams. That way, our molar masses always have at least one more sig fig than our numbers in our problem. Now we have moles of C3H8. Next is going to be our mole to mole ratio. We're going from moles of propane to moles of carbon dioxide. We need to cancel 
our moles of propane, so that goes on the bottom. Like that's one. Here's three moles of carbon dioxide. And our last is going to be the molar mass of our new thing, our second substance. This is carbon dioxide. I just happen to know that one mole of carbon dioxide has a molar mass of 44.01 grams. And so that's what it looks like when you put it into the picket fence. Go ahead and multiply everything across. I've got 41.1 and I like I like to do it as I've said before uh, all the way across so I'm going to divide by 44.09 I'm going to multiply times 3 I'm going to multiply times 44.01 and I get 123 to 3 sig figs 123 grams with my final units here, grams of CO2. And that's our first GMMG problem. We have many more to do. Here's another one. This one says how many grams of carbon dioxide can be made from 41.1 grams of oxygen? Same number of grams that we just solved for propane. Of course, we've got different molar masses. We've got different mole-to-mole ratios here as well. So we, we expect to get a significantly different answer. Start with the number in your problem statement, 41.1s, 41.1. Start with grams, we're gonna go to moles, and as a hint, so uh, anytime I give you grams of something and you know what its formula is, you can bet you're gonna be going to, to moles 99 plus percent of the time in this class, which is great. And then in general chemistry, should you go on, uh, which we hope you will, and all the way to organic chemistry as well and beyond. Um, mostly when they give you grams, they, they need you to turn into moles in chemistry. Uh, oxygen, 32.00 grams of oxygen for one mole. Uh, and then our mole-to-mole -mole conversion, we've got moles of oxygen on the top. Put its coefficient there. Then we've got carbon dioxide. And we're going for grams of carbon dioxide, just like we did for the last one. We know that one mole of carbon dioxide is 44.01 grams. And you'll notice, like we've always said, anything that's above and below each other, these two things are equal to each other. The way that these two are equal to each other is because for every five moles of oxygen reacted, that will equal or produce three moles of carbon dioxide. That's what we mean by equal to each other. The reaction tells us the relationships. And again, that's why many people call it a chemical equation and in addition to a chemical reaction. Let's go ahead and multiply this out. 41.1 divided by 32.00 times three divided by five times 44.01. I get 33.9 as my number. And my final units here are grams CO2. Double checking everything, I can see that I've got my grams of oxygen canceling out, I've got my moles of oxygen canceling out, and my moles of carbon dioxide canceling out. So that seems to work pretty well. Now we've done uh, propane to carbon dioxide, we've done oxygen to carbon dioxide, that is typically what you do, though not always. This time, we want to ask the question, how many grams of propane, that's enough where a reactant, will be reacted with 41.1 grams of oxygen, another reactant? And this time, our mole-to-mole -mole ratio will be, uh, we'll even put it the right way, one mole C3H8 reacted per or equal to, or at the same time as five moles O2 will be reacted. 
That's what this reaction means. We start with our number again in our problem statement. It's a similar setup to before, right? We've still got our 32 grams here. We will have a new mole to mole conversion though. Our mole to mole conversion is the one that I've given here. And this time propane, we need the molar mass of propane over here. Hmm. I have that on a previous sheet, 44.09. Okay, so now let's multiply this out. We've got 41.1 divided by 32 divided by 5 times 44.09. I get 11.33, it looks like that round. So we're just 11.3 actually. And that is our final answer for this. That means that when you react 41.1 grams of oxygen, so react 41.1 grams of oxygen with 11.3 grams of propane, that's what this calculation tells us. From the one on the previous slide, we started with 41.1 grams of oxygen and we produced 33.9 grams of carbon dioxide. So I'm just gonna fill that in. React 41.1 grams of oxygen with 11.3 grams propane to produce 33.9 grams CO2. And based on these numbers, you can see that the relationship for numbers is very different, right? Uh, and so that's why we go through this process of GMMG, starting with grams, convert to moles, because we know how to do molar mass, then using the, un the conversion factors, the mole to mole ratios, and then the molar mass. And this part of the class is 50% or so, just rote memorization of this process, and the rest of the 50% after we do some initial problems is going to be knowing when to apply this process. So we'll get used to it and then we'll start showing you new uh, ways to use this process.